I want to show you all about outdoor kitchens with a bar. I love the shape of this. It's a little U-shaped outdoor kitchen with a bar. Creates a great outdoor kitchen, great destination. So another U-shaped outdoor kitchen that I really enjoyed is this one. So we have the door that splits the basically two different areas of their outdoor kitchen. So off to the left here, we had this U-shape with the sink in the middle. We have a 42 inch bar, but we really have a kind of an all purpose, you know, buffet area. We have the sink area. We have the kegerator area here and just the hangout zone, absolute hangout zone with the bar. Then of course, with the Evo area, and this is what I would just say, the chef, the chef's area. So the man of the house in this area loved to just cook um, outdoors. So we had the grill, and he had the Evo. Now this is a little plug for the Evo. They are an amazing outdoor cook space. They really can cook anything you can imagine. You can imagine the burgers being cooked there. You can cook anything that you would need with stir fry. So like a, a just a griddle or because it has the top on it, you can do like pizzas and things that require kind of more of an oven style cook space. So the Evo, I would definitely look into it as you're kind of exploring the outdoor cook space world. You might really think about an Evo and I'll have some links below for that. So I really like the design, but really the focal of this space, especially from outside of the house, is the outdoor kitchen with the bar. So think about that as you're designing your space, you want to think about what's going to grab your eye, grab your attention, pull you outside, and then once you're outside, get to the next destination. So one of the coolest outdoor bars that we've done in a long time, take it in. We're going to show, shoot some other angles of this right now, but you got the, the modern bar island. You got the pizza oven to one side. You got a pass-through window with the sink over here, the refrigerator, everything you can imagine as far as storage and garbage and uh, refrigerators, ice makers. This is really a classic modern outdoor kitchen and I would definitely recommend this for your outdoor space or something like this and we would love to design it for you. Okay, another outdoor kitchen with a bar that I really like is this one. Now, this is not a U shape, but it is an L shape. So you have kind of, you know, the best of almost all the worlds of a U shape. You have the two sides of that U. Now, the reason we did this style with the wall here is there was a neighbor right behind the homeowner. So we have outdoor kitchen on that side with the big wall. And then we went ahead and put in the hood to vent all that smoke out. I also like the way it looks. It's pretty attractive. And then you have the sink on that side. So you really have kind of the cook area on one wall, but then you have the really, like I always say, the bar area is the all purpose area on the other part of that L. And again, you have the flow as you're coming out of the house, your flow is gonna be right to that bar, right to the outdoor grill, and then of course, as you go further out, there's the outdoor fire pit and they even have a hot tub in this area. The next outdoor kitchen with the bar that I wanted to feature was this one. Now this is a special one because it's, it's not under a permanent structure. So we just have the pergola above and it's actually outside of the covered area that we built. But we have here a permanent bar that we built, a 42 inch bar. So it's traditional bar height, but look at what we did with the kitchen. This is all store-bought. It's basically just store-bought racks on casters there. And we put in an egg style smoker for the outdoor kitchen. And that's what the homeowner obviously would like. That's their preference as far as cooking outdoors. So you have the bar, which of course, and I, I say this way too much, but uh, be patient with me. The bar will be where everybody hangs out around. I can't say it enough and you already probably know it, but look at how it's just featured right outside of the windows, right outside of the double doors. 
summertime, those doors will be open. People will be inside, outside, mostly outside probably, but they'll be hanging out around that bar. So again, add a couple of bar stools right outside of the windows. And now you have a great destination, a great setup for your outdoor kitchen. You can add an outdoor kitchen in really any space. Here's a little tiny outdoor kitchen, but it packs so much punch. We got a sink, we got a barbecue, we have a beautiful bar, and it's just gonna welcome you outside and get people hanging outside. So just a reminder to get a good design. I wanna give you all this information and ideas, but still take the time, find a local designer. If you can't find a local designer that designs outdoor kitchens and outdoor living spaces, we would love to help you out. No matter where you live in the world, we can show you your backyard, your home and your backyard in the 3D world and give you a beautiful outdoor living design. So take that time, hire a good designer. It will save money down the road. So with an outdoor kitchen and a bar, they don't always need to be connected. As you see here, we have two separate areas, although the proximity uh, to each other are very close. We have the grill station again. We have the green egg built into the outdoor kitchen area with a lot of other appliances. You got, you know, just storage area. You got the area for the garbage, but just to the left of that, we have the outdoor bar space. Now, if you look closely here, you can notice that the bar is at true bar height, 42 inches from the floor to the, the top of the bar. Now we accomplish this with that little step down. And the point behind those two elevations mainly is the bar height. We wanted to keep the bar at bar height, 42 inches, but on the inside, we wanted to keep it at 36. So this is a nice little trick to be able to accomplish the best of both worlds. So over in the bar, we did a lot of outdoor appliances that would fit right into the bar. So we did kind of a bar style sink, smaller sink for the, you know, just prepping drinks and things like that. We did the refrigerator. We did the wine cooler, which is great. And then we did an, a drawer ice maker. Now, I really appreciate the drawer ice maker. So instead of the door, it's a drawer. And so take a look at the way that looks. And then, of course, we did some storage. Now, again, this is at the 36 inch side. So it's that traditional kind of countertop. And it's very easy to on this side, just grab what you need. But then it's it's not too tall for where you're at when you're sitting down, enjoying the fireplace, enjoying the heaters. It doesn't create too much of a of a stop for your eye. So think about that as you're designing again. One side can be at 36 and the other side can be at 42. So something to think about when you're designing your outdoor space, of course, you're probably gonna, gonna wanna do an outdoor kitchen, probably wanna incorporate a bar. But I just wanna let you know that if you can, it would be great to try to incorporate a pass-through window. Like you're seeing behind me, this is just opens up, folds on up, and now you have the ability to have inside and outside, be able to pass things through people and really enjoy the party, so to speak, at both sides. So whether you're inside, whether you're outside, you can be talking on either side and enjoy that, out, that pass through window very much. Here's another bar and outdoor kitchen setup that I appreciate. This is in more of a rustic style. So you got, you're kind of in the woods, kind of uh, cabin style uh, feeling. You got the wood fireplace off to one side. You got the koi pond as a kind of a magnet for your eye from out uh, from the windows. But really, you're gonna have your eye captured by the outdoor kitchen. And then look at what we did here. We have a through between the kitchen and this post of the bar. But look at the, what we did. We just basically added a bar top over the stonework of this post. So you can see over here, we have just traditional stone wraps over the post. But instead of you know just putting a cap on it, we put a bar top on it. Now you can imagine guys here sitting, watching the game, outside no matter what the weather is they have the heaters there the grills going you know they have the sink right there and then they're hanging out at the bar and it's just a really nice another setup for the outdoor kitchen plus the bar style 
So we're talking about outdoor kitchens. A, a thing that goes really well with an outdoor kitchen is an outdoor fireplace. We'd like you to watch this next video. It's all about outdoor fireplaces. You can do so many different things with an outdoor fireplace, add a TV to them, welcome the family outside, welcome the friends outside. So enjoy this video on outdoor fireplaces in the next video. And thanks again for watching and subscribing. Talk to you soon.